Kelly Clark is the most decorated U.S. snowboarder of all time. She's competed in four Olympics, including winning the bronze just now in Sochi. She joins us today. How are you? Doing well, thanks. Thanks for having me on the show. So this is your fourth Olympics. You won gold in 2002. You won bronze in Vancouver. Now another bronze to your collection. How did this Olympics compare to the other previous three? I think we were all pleasantly surprised by the kind of Sochi experience. I think there's a lot of hype heading into this Olympics, perhaps more so than any other one. And it was run well, we felt safe, we had fun. Um, and I think anytime you get to come home with one right. of these, it's, it a, it's it a good trip. It yeah. wasn't too warm, the snow was okay? That was probably the most challenging part. Um, you know, we had been there a year prior, we went to the test event, we knew potentially it could be warm, and it turns out it was. And it was just a challenging night, to be honest, but I think that's part of being a competitor, is being able to adapt. And um, we do an outdoor winter sport, so it's part of it for us. So the U.S., you know, the, it was sort of mixed results for the U.S. team as a whole, but the snowboarding obviously did great again. Why do you think it is that snowboarding just continues to sort of dominate, at least from a U.S. standpoint? I think the resorts in the U.S. have gotten behind snowboarding for a long time. They've, they've built terrain parks. They've built half pipes for years and years and years. And when we're training now, all of the other countries are training with us in the U.S. So I think, you know, with that being our history, it's, we're going to, continue to produce good snowboarders. Do you think the rest of the world will eventually sort of catch up to the states in some of these events that we tend to sort of always be on the podium for? I think there's a handful of really good countries. You know, you're seeing Swiss, you're seeing Japan come through consistently with, with good results. Um, but I think the U.S. will continue to lead it for a while. Okay. So you and Sean White are sort of like the old guard of snowboarding. Do you see like a, a new generation coming up? Or like who's the next Kelly Clark? <laughs> They seem to keep getting younger and younger. They call me <laughs> old, but um, mm -hmm. I'm still I'm still hanging tough for now. But there are some incredible young women coming up right now. There's a girl in particular. Her name's Chloe Kim. She's 13 years old. She got second to me at X Games this year, and she wasn't even old enough to be eligible to compete oh, wow. in the Winter Olympic Games. So she's got a bright future for sure. Do you think it's possible you'll make it to South Korea for the next Winter Games? At this point, that's the plan. I mean, I love snowboarding more than I ever have. And it's amazing, this sport, you're, you're never going to be the best. There isn't a day that goes by that I'm not challenged. And so I have a lot of things to learn. And I've been thinking the last few days, imagine what I could learn if they gave me four years to do it. Wow. So what do you? So what does your typical off-season look like? I mean, it's just ended, so now what, what do you do? How long until you get back on a snowboard? Well, I'm actually itching to get back on my snowboard. This is the longest I've been off my snowboard uh, in months. So I actually have one more event in Vail, Colorado, the Burton U.S. Open, and that'll be my last event of the season um, in about two weeks' time. Then photo shoots, powder riding, uh, summertime training. It's pretty year-round for us, but it'll, the intensity level will crank down a few notches right now. Okay. So you probably deserve a little bit of a rest. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make it to the beach some point soon, too. Okay. So in terms of snowboarding as a whole, what do you see as the future of the sport? Do you think they're going to keep adding events? I know we had the slope style this time, which was really cool. Like, do you see the sport progressing as becoming a bigger part of the Olympics? I've seen the sport progress a lot. You know, since since I started snowboarding, you know, I always say I started snowboarding before it was cool. There was there was no X Games, there was no mm -hmm. Olympics, and now the Olympics has had snowboarding for the last five Olympics, and it's been incredibly successful because it's relatable. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's something that people are out there on the weekends enjoying with their family. So I would expect it to continue to grow based off of its success and based off of its relatability. Um, I know there's talk of adding big air, so perhaps, you know, with how successful both free skiing and snowboarding has been, maybe that'll be the bulk of, of um, future Winter Olympic sports. We'll see. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank Enjoy you. your medal. Find a good spot for it, and thanks for coming in. Thanks so it's much. It's Kelly Clark, U.S. snowboarder.